Okay, on to the layout. Um, we're going to make uh, a layout component, which is going to be the global style for the site, let's say. Um, so it's going to be how we structure um, the, the, the main page, but also all of the, um, the, the, the pages we need to display for our blog posts. Um, so we're going to do that. We're going to refactor the, um, the, the index page, the home page a little. Um, and we're going to create a header and layout component. So uh, first up, let's do that in terminal. Um, and we're going to um, make do, uh, a source components folder. And then in there, we're going to touch uh, a couple of files, which is going to be source components header and source components layout. And uh, if we take a look in our Explorer over here now, um, see got our new files in here um, go to the Explorer components header layout so let's just get the header component out of the way first if I do control B more real estate here to work with so um, in the header component we're just going to have the title for now and the site description but we're also going to have it so um, once you never get never get away from the home page you can click on that and go back to the home page from there um, so we're going to do that with Gatsby link. Um, oopsie. So import from Gatsby. That's going to be link. Um, you notice I left the uh, the curly braces empty before um, I picked out link. It's just so I could get the IntelliSense off of um, from VS Code. You can do it with a couple of things. Um, sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Uh, I'm going to import React as well with my handy snippet I've got here. So uh, we want to export uh, the header as a constant. Um, and we're going to call it header. And it's going to be a function return. Um, but it's going to be an implicit return with link. Um, and we're going to say to. Um, and it's going to equal uh, the home page. Okay, and uh, we're going to have a H1 in here um, and a P. Um, and the H1 is going to be the title and the P is going to be a description. And those are going to come in via the layout component. And they're going to get passed as props to here. So we're going to call this site title and uh, site description. And then we're going to put these in the curly braces in here. Okay. Site title. Site description. Cool. Save that. And then we're going to move on to making our um, a layout component. Um, so if we uh, do Control P in Visual Studio Code, and we can start typing. Layout. Got a layout component here, and then in here we're going to use uh, React, import React from React, um, and we're going to get the props we need for the header component with our um, use site metadata hook. So uh, import that um, from um, here, yeah, hooks, yep, um, site metadata hook, and this is going to be um, use site metadata. Um, and then we're going to want to export uh, const layout and that is also going to be a function return and then in here we're going to want to return um, we're just putting some empty uh, divs for now um, and we're going to want to get um, the um, title and description from um, use site metadata which is a function uh, title description um, and also we want to import our header so I could put import here but let's just try um, see if the import will work header HGA um, we can do auto import here, hit return. It's going to import our header component up here. And uh, our header wants um, some props, which is 
site title and we're going to pass that title from um, site metadata hook and also site description which is going to have the description from our site metadata hook okay and uh, this can be a self-closing component closing tab fine um, and then we're also going to use layout here as a, as a wrapping component for all of the site um, so everything that is within uh, the layout basically the children of this component uh, we're also going to want to return them here cool so that's the basis of our layout component um, we're going to also use our basic styles here so go over to our site um, look like We've not got passing an unexpected token. Where is it? Gold H1. Oh, const, not const. Just uh, to place that somewhere. Okay. Um, so back to our layout, and we're just going to um, have a style component here. So import style components. And we're just going to do um, our app styles, uh, which is going to be styled main. Put some back ticks here. And then basically, uh, we're just going to put in the width as uh, 800 pixels and uh, margin. This is the, the, the the most basic of styles so margin zero auto and then um, if we wrap our styles and then we're then going to need to um, wrap our index in the layout um, so for now um, we're going to get rid of our awesome uh, style in here and in our return here we're just going to put for now layout also import that and it's a self-closing tag as well save that um, we should get um, a highlighting of how bad my uh, typing is so this is in header um, site title Okay, okay. So um, this has just got some basic styling added to this now. Um, nothing great, but we're going to come back to this um, soon. And um, uh, okay. um, just do some more work with this um, as we go through um, adding more posts to well, adding the posts to the blog. So currently, we have just got a header and our uh, strap line here. It's all really basic at the moment, but we're going to come back to that once we have got some content in our blog. Um, and we're going to do that in the next video. So in the next video, we're going to look at um, uh, getting our posts into our index page. So um, I hope you enjoyed this one and um, I'll see you in the next one.